Paige speaks out. Paige breaks her silence on returning to WWE despite the rumors and speculation and gossip that she was leaving the WWE and that there was big problems. Paige said the following here on Show and Dream I always keep it prolific, consistent, and dedicated. I work around the clock for my viewers and my subscribers. Please make sure to share this video on Twitter and Facebook. And Sean's View Entertainment will also will also be going live in a live event on YouTube.com, a live event stream. WWE Talk right here on Sean's View Entertainment, where you can call in live just like we did last night. We'll do that every Monday, Tuesday, possibly Wednesday. We might do it. Once every day. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. If my videos get enough likes, comments, views, shares, and all that. Paige said the following on her WWE status. First, I'd like to thank all my fans for their love and support the last few weeks. Let me begin by saying that the rumors that I'm leaving the WWE are completely false. I certainly look forward to returning back to action at some point. Once my injury is treated and on a healthy return... Although I was disappointed by my suspension, I respect the WWE's wellness policy. However, let me, let me be clear that I was not suspended for failing a drug test. Uh, it was merely due to a uh, procedural issue. I took the test. I passed it. I uh, arranged uh, said test to happen after I wasn't at home when uh, whatever this company has contacted me. So I drove 200 miles to do it. Unfortunately, I didn't do it in time according to whatever the company is. Aegis, I just... Once again, thank you for all the love and support. So Paige clearly saying, um, you know, that, you know, I was not suspended for failing a drug test. And that's always a good thing because, you know, that puts a lot of bad press and bad light. And, you know, it makes you have this kind of reputation with you. So it's good to know that Paige didn't do something incredibly horrible. And it was just not being able to... Um, get what you need to get together. I, I don't know. I mean, it's it's a very uh, unusual, unfortunate situation. Kind of like Eva Marie's situation. She, she said that she was wronged and that she's going to, you know, try to go around this. Brock Lesnar said he was going to look into why he uh, failed the WWE wellness. Well, not the WWE, but the UFC one because there's all kinds of wellness, uh, you know, policy issues going out and it, it's almost too much that I can't even take this all in. I can't remember everything. I'm only one person. I'm only one guy. But, you know, like I said, it would have been a major blow to the WWE to lose Paige. So I'm glad that Paige is coming back to the WWE rightfully where she belongs. And although it may not be with Alberto Del Rio, I'm going to have to assume that they're still together. They're still an item. Um, they've already filmed, um, you know, for Total Divas or Total Bellas or whatever the heck they're calling the show nowadays. So, ladies and gentlemen, it is good that Paige will be thrown back into the mix. You're going to wonder, will she be coming back with a push? Uh, or are the WWE going to um, pretty much just use her as a jobber? Um, you know, is she going to rise to prominence once again? Will Paige be able to regain the reputation that she once had? Your comments and your opinions, like I said, this is a great report, especially after all the heat and after all the turmoil that we thought was going on, all the rumors that Paige and WWE were on bad terms. And now for and now to hear this in this way, I'm all for it. Thank you for watching. Your comments and your opinions. This is Sean's View Entertainment, where I will be doing WWE Talking Live. And a live YouTube event. Subscribe.